Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare MailPoet and MailChimp. The first thing I'm going to compare are pricing plans, then I will look on main features and personally some advantages and disadvantages I see. Now I'm not paid by MailPoet or MailChimp to say one is better comparing to the other, use that or that, I'm just going to give you my honest review. So let's start. First, pricing plan. So MailChimp, in my opinion, is much more expensive. They offer free account, same as MailPoet, let me show you. If you're gonna have up to 1000 subscribers at MailPoet, it's going to be completely for free. In MailChimp, it's up to 2000, but you're gonna have limited account. So you're not going to have a behavioral targeting or email templates, A-B testing, or 24 seven email chat support. It's only on Ascension and Standard and more. Now on MailPoet, you got 1000 subscribers and you can just play around with everything. And let's say that you would have 5,000 subscribers. You would pay like 60 bucks a month. In MailChimp for 5,000 subscribers, in standard version, you're gonna have $80 a month. On Essential, that's 52. But let's say that you're gonna go with standard because so you can have like full package, $80. And it's much more comparing to MailPoet. MailPoet is really great and it's working only for WooCommerce and uh, like WordPress and let me show you how it works. So both of these tools offers you automation, newsletter campaigns, but if you want to go directly for WordCommerce and MailChimp, MailPoet is working perfectly, flawlessly I would even say. So when you would go here to uh, your like MailPoet on WordPress, you would see that you got newsletter, welcome mail, latest post notifications, and then you get it also for WooCommerce as abundant cart shopping, first purchase, purchase this product in this category. You can say that this is really simple comparing to MailChimp because in MailChimp you will get lost. So let's start with like automations, right? Automations in MailChimp are some like, it's not that easy to understand and learn. It will take time to get like idea how to use it and what you can actually do, but it's possible like a few days. In MailPoet, let me show you. When I would go to abundant cart shopping, and now it's like really simple because it's going to directly guide you. 30 minute hours later, next. And then you just simply choose a template, which one you want to choose, like let's go avocado. And when you're gonna have it, you can simply edit it as much as you want and bam, you got it. And you just send it. This is how simple it is. It's much more simpler comparing to MailChimp and I would definitely go with a like MailPoint. Also another thing, when you would go here, let me show you to Trustpilot and see what is the review of MailChimp. You would see that it's like 1.7 comparing to the well, from five, five stars and plenty of people are saying that the dollar rate is not that great. Also, the customer support is not what it used to be in the past because they got just too big. Comparing to sending blue, look at this 4.6 stars. Crazy good, right? So again, MailPoint is winning in this department. When you would go like click new form here. Again, you can create amazing templates. These templates are much better comparing to MailChimp. Also, the drag and drop system is easy in both of these platforms, so you're not going to make a mistake from the drag and drop standpoint. And now to go further, let's just choose, I don't know, this one here. It's beautiful. And now you can simply use it, play around it as much as you want, right? So this is how you can do the forms. Then you get like subscribers here, your lists here. And that's pretty much it. So thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I recommend, like you can create account in both. You will have links down below in the description. Mm, have a great day and goodbye. See ya.